All right, chat. It's some of your guys' favorite series. Roll for Sandwich. We got quite a few episodes to catch up on. We left off, I think, on episode 28. I think there's like 38 or something like that. So we've got some to go through. So, uh, yeah. If you haven't, if you're just joining us and you haven't seen this yet, um, there's a TikToker um, who basically is like a DND guy and um, he has a whole, I'll show you, just watch the TikTok, I guess. But basically, he rolls for what his sandwich will be every day. Some days it's really good, some days it's absolutely horrendous. And it's just funny either way, so. Good afternoon, D&D TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I'll let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. First up, roll for bread. Three, pretzel bun. Man, I sure do love me a good pretzel bun, and these are nice and fresh. Not a bad start at all. Let's hope our luck holds. I'm not a big pretzel guy. Roll for main. One, pepperoni. Man, it seems like this week we have one holdover ingredient from the last sandwich each time we do this. But I that's like fine with pepperoni. me. That means we're using up the last of this pepperoni. I love Next up, pepperoni. roll for cheese. Five, Munster. Munster is a nice Munster creamy offset to the too. pepperoni. The only better choice maybe would have been fresh mozzarella. On to the double roughage roll. Nine, hearts of palm and five, coleslaw. Hearts of palm are the core of palm trees. Oh, I think we've they seen this soft, one, actually. They fibrous. That's fine. And they have a similar flavor to artichoke hearts. I personally really enjoy them, though I've never put them on a sandwich before. They look like mozzarella sticks. I don't think sticks. they'll detract from this sandwich. I remember saying that last time. I think the coleslaw here is going to be a little bit less welcome than it was yesterday. But we'll see. I could be surprised by the end result. Let's roll wild magic. 11, Doritos. The flavor of Doritos I have is Cool Ranch. And as far as predicting the yep, outcome of the sandwich, this I'm getting less confident. Well, here we are once again at I'll the finish it up seen it. May the dice gods have mercy on my taste buds. 19, Horseradish. Well, now it's just a total mismatch of flavors. We'll see when yeah. it comes time to taste it, if it somehow miraculously works. I think works, Horseradish but, is uh, absolutely disgusting. I'm, I'm doubting it. What's the cheese string? Let's get it's a uh, palm. Uh, Palms, uh, what was, what was it called again, chat? It was like something palms. And let's take a look at that cross section. Yeah, I don't know about this one, guys. Heart we'll of see. palm. And now the only thing left to do is taste it. Here we go. By the way, chat, this kind of shows the power oh. of TikTok. Somebody Even told this guy. with everything else, that <clears throat> pretzel bun is I still pretty good. I watched it on stream. But honestly, the, the rest next isn't really day, doing me Sorry, anything. not the next day. That I, night, a different sauce, he actually followed me back on TikTok together, and DM'd me. But the horseradish so like, ain't for this content. one. I was like, what the hell? The more the I eat this sandwich, the more it's kind of okay. But at this point, it it's probably just my sandwich Stockholm Syndrome. I wouldn't make it again. I wouldn't make it on purpose. But once again, I eat the whole thing just the same. Definitely not the worst we've had. It's really just middle of the road. I'm going to go with a 5.1. The point one being solely for the pretzel. Okay, we've seen this one already. So. I found a new. Th Good afternoon, D and D TikTok right. and beyond. Welcome to Roll for Sandwich. This Twenty nine. Okay, so this is where we left off. I noted twenty eight. I I thought I need to note it better for myself. So next time I'll note twenty eight was the last episode we watched. Series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. First up, roll for bread. One waffles. Well, the only waffles I have are blueberry waffles. Oh. So here we go. Next up, roll for main course. Three, bacon. Oh. Okay, all right. Well, maybe we okay. have hope for a decent breakfast sandwich here. Next up, roll for cheese. That is a four, sharp cheddar returns. Waffle, cheese, bacon, so far so good. Double roll for roughage. One lettuce and 12 roll twice. Uh oh. All right, here we go, more roughage. Uh oh. 10 alfalfa sprouts and seven sauerkraut. Uh oh. Well, there goes the hope for a pretty normal breakfast sandwich. Apparently the dice gods were not content with double roughage today, they wanted triple roughage. But who am I to argue with fate? So here we go. Lettuce, sprouts, and sauerkraut in a minute here. But first, roll wild magic. Seven, more roughage. Oh and no. And we've got eight banana peppers. All right, well this one is sufficiently off the rails. Oh Get the no. banana peppers on there. And now for our sauerkraut. Full disclosure, I had some problems filming today, which is okay. why this got a little bit out of order. I feel like space time around here has been oh, a little unstable. No. But we've got things under control now. We've got our sauerkraut here, and there's only one oh, thing left to do. And that's the D20 sauce roll. 18, hot honey. I honestly don't hot? know what the best case scenario sauce. Listen to me, chat. Listen to me well. I'm going to put you on to something. That right there 
is arguably one of the best sauces I've ever seen. I have it at my house. If you've never got hot honey, it's kind of expensive. It's kind of like 10 bucks a bottle. It's very expensive, but it's spiced honey. It is delicious. Get yourself a bottle. I promise you Boss it's worth it. would have been with this sandwich, so hot honey is as good as anything, I guess. Let's get it cut, and let's take a look at that cross-section. Best sauce you've ever seen or taste? It was the most surprising. Uh, okay, oh. let's give this blueberry waffle, bacon, sharp cheddar cheese, sauerkraut, banana pepper, alfalfa sprouts, romaine Wait, lettuce, what? and hot honey sandwich a go. What is this? There's so many different things going on. I don't even know. Oh man, how would I plus this up? It's okay, dripping on the up, floor. I'm lean oh, into the breakfast God. nature of the sandwich and had an over easy egg. Okay, let's give this plussed up abomination a go. Oh my God, it's getting everywhere. It's Stop! I don't know if it is plussed up. This is just a crazy mess of a sandwich. Yeah, you're not making it the any better, nice. bro. Go Stop! Well with the bacon <laughs> and banana peppers I'll and cheese. I'm freaking out. <laughs> The blueberry waffles are what's throwing me, but I don't know, Jake. Oh, the, the waffles? Try? Not the nine Thanks, things Danny. of roughage? Let's try the original first. Yeah, okay. that's not great. The sweetness is what's throwing me. The sweetness from the blueberries, the sweetness from the hot honey, the sweetness from the Bavarian sauerkraut. I think if only one of those was present, it would be passable. But the fact that they're all there means there's too much sweetness for the other elements to overpower. Let's see if Barry's plus up helps with the egg. Oh, it's it his dad? Oh. It, it definitely brings it back into breakfast sandwich territory more with the bacon and the waffles. But I don't know if there was really any saving this one. It was at a three before, and I'll say that the egg brought it up to maybe a four and a half. Thanks to Barry from Sandwiches of History for joining me today. If you oh, haven't so checked out his, his channel, I have. You little fucking shits. That wasn't his dad. I highly recommend it. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, right, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the next. series where I let fate Thanks. decide my lunch. Oh, sweet. Let's go! Crossover from the D&D &D Sandwich Guy and the Sandwiches from History Guy. Who's the Sandwiches from History Guy? I've never seen it before. Thank you to the viewer who sent me these ducky dice from my wish list. Ducks are one of my daughter's favorite animals. Let's hope these are lucky ducks. Let's roll for bread. Thank you. One, tortilla. We're pushing yeah. the boundaries of what can be considered bread here, but I'm not changing the name of the table or the name of the show. I guess it's roll for wrap today. Next up, let's roll for our main ingredient. Four, roast beef. I love me some good roast beef, and this will be a great start to this wrap, but okay. we've had a lot of great okay. starts lately. Roll for cheese. Five, Munster. Finishing up the last of the Munster in the house. I'm okay with like that. you like me some Munster? Yeah. Looking pretty good so far. Pretty good. Let's keep going with double roughing. Eight banana pepper and seven sauerkraut. I love banana peppers. How does or he mild keep getting pepperings. sauerkraut? They go great on just about any meat and cheese sandwich. But I'm so sick of sauerkraut. I'm so sick of sauerkraut. I'm so sick of sauerkraut. I've only used half the jar. Oh no. All right, wild magic. Please don't make it worse. Two bacon. Man, this Ooh. bacon may be what we needed to fix this wrap. Really, the only outlier here is that dang sweet Bavarian sauerkraut. Little ducky, please roll well for me. D20 sauce roll. Three, banana ketchup. Why did I put two ketchups on the list? All right, so banana ketchup or banana sauce is from the Philippines. It is a sweet Looks ketchup like sauce. Uh, I tried it, it's actually I like it better than regular ketchup, but That's I still don't good. think it's going to help as much as like, mayo would have. All right, let's get this thing rolled up. All right, not too bad, other than the last time I tried to do this. She looks kind of good. go ahead and get it cut. And let's take a look at that cross section. Not too bad. Looks pretty good. Not bad, yeah. I'm not a big sauerkraut right, well, guy. We'll see how Take it tastes. sauerkraut off, and I'd Here we go. probably have that. Man, that banana sauce is like the exact opposite of what we needed here. Maybe some mayo or some vinegar could have saved it, but as it is now, too much sweetness. That being said, it's not as bad as it could have been. Like, we almost have something here, but I think I'm determined from all these that I really just don't like Bavarian sauerkraut. Well, there it is, the first wrap on Roll for Sandwich. Not the best, not the worst, okay. right in the middle with a five. 
I think 80% of the sauces on that list would have brought it up at least two points. Which would you have chosen if you could? Until next time. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to... Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to... Four, roast beef. Okay, Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go! A viewer sent me these galaxy dice off my wish list, so that's what we're going with today. Cool, he's getting All much right, stuff first out up, of it. roll for bread. Like new dice Four, and shit. Four, brioche bun. That's awesome. These are a new addition this week. Fresh and Those super soft fire. with a buttery outer crust. Those are Starting fire. Starting off strong today. Oh. Oh. Okay, now Next I want up, some. Next up, let's roll for our main course. Eleven, roll twice. All right, double protein, let's go. Four, roast beef and ten, tuna. Well, the roast beef and the brioche will be nice. It's been a while since we've had tuna. I don't think the tuna will stand out very much flavor-wise, though. My main worry so far is how dry this sandwich is. Hopefully, we'll get the right sauce and roughage to fix that up. All right, there we go. Sauceless tuna. All right, roll for cheese. Everything's better with cheese. Three, provolone. Smoked provolone here will go great with this roast beef. I know it's the rules, so but you should so put the good. cheese on the other side. You All know right, what I here mean? Here we go. Like double roughage. Four tomato and five coleslaw. Now this fresh, juicy tomato will add some much-needed yeah, moisture, true, along with good. just a little bit of bright acidity. Not a big tomato guy, but true. Coleslaw will add even more moisture and a little bit of crunch, and that mayo base might help with the tuna. All right, time for a little bit of wild magic. Two, it's bacon! Man, the wild magic table has been real kind to me lately, and I'm not complaining. Yet another protein. I think this one's actually coming together pretty well. And now, the D20 sauce roll. Two, Marmite and butter. All right, let's get this out of the way for my American audience. What is Marmite? What Marmite, is Marmite is yeast extract. It's a byproduct of making beer. It is much more popular in other countries as a toast spread or food additive, and it has a very strong taste. It's salty, bitter, and has some umami flavor. I'm mixing it with butter because you often eat it alongside of butter. We're getting a layer on here. There we go. Let's put it together. And let's get it cut. And let's check out that cross section. It's a big one today. Let's see how it tastes. So what is Marmite like? Flavor's not bad. Didn't overdo it with the Marmite. And actually, it pairs okay with the roast beef. I've heard that you can use Marmite in gravy and beef stew, so... Disgusting still, ass rancid. Dry. Oh man, it would have benefited from even more sauce. All in all, could have done much worse. I'm gonna give this one an 8.7. Marmite is pain There's in a just jar. A couple ways it could have been better, but hey. Okay, listen. Oh. At least there wasn't any sauerkraut. Hope you have a good. Listen, okay. Is there anyone that actually likes it? Because everyone here said it's bad. Is there anyone that actually likes it? You think it's okay? All right, that's something. Bitter and salty and truly vile. If you eat it by itself, it's very good. Wait, it's truly vile. If you eat it by itself, it is very good if you mix with butter and jam. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remember that for the next time I get groceries. I might, I might get a bottle. I might get a small bottle and see if I can. Uh, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it and see how it is. Maybe I'll try it on stream. Maybe uh maybe I'll maybe I'll mix um a little bit of butter. You know, a little bit of butter like he did, and, like mix it together and then um put on some bread, you know. Will be an early stream that day. Wait, is it that bad?
Wait, so why is it... Okay, so like, what does it make you shit or something? Like, what do you... Thank you. Prepare mouthwash. We'll need. <laughs> it's that bad? It's the most strong, gross, bitter taste ever, and you can't get it out of your mouth. It's more of a mood thing. Okay, what what mood do I need to be in to try that Marmite? Do I need to be angry? Do I need to be happy? Sad? Uh, wh wh where are we going? Salty, so you're saying play some Overwatch. You need to be desperate, so play some Overwatch. And then I'll play, and then I'll have some. So depressed you want to feel something? I'm watching the next, I'm Good just watching the next D &D one. TikTok and Beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. First up, roll for bread. Six, sprouted grain. Sprouted grain is a dense, fibrous bread with less gluten and less carbs than many other breads. Mine was frozen, so I cast burning hands on it real quick, and now we're ready to make our sandwich. Let's roll for our main. Six, chicken. This week's chicken is a Nashville hot-inspired chicken. I took a little taste of it, and it is spicier than I was expecting it to be, but it's pretty tasty. So nice. this nice. should be a good start. Next up, roll for cheese. Two, pimento cheese. Pimento cheese is a cheese spread or dip with ingredients that can vary by region, but the most what common pimento are cheese? Better processed cheese, mayonnaise, and pimento peppers. Let's roll 2d12 roughage. What is that? Pimento, oh, so now you guys say that's good. All right, all right, hold on. Pimento cheese. So it's like a spread? The cheese spread for cheese and crackers. So there's pimento, pepadu, buffalo style, artichoke asiago, garlic and herb. Um, at that place. And then... Original. Thank you. Sir Stroming, go for it, is less bad than Marmite. Wait, is palmento cheese and pimento cheese the same thing? No. Yes. No. Oh, it is. It's just the brand. It says Palmento Cheese Spread Original. The me Pimento Cheese with Soul. So it is? Bad? Okay. It's just a brand, though. So, so what's the good brand then? I'm it's awesome. You fire. love it. Dude, there's so many diff conflicting con tastes here. Sank his things to him for two months. Appreciate it. it. Depends on where you live. All right. You know what? Listen. I want to order from this particular grocery store anyways, because 
they have natural Doritos, aka white cheddar Doritos, and those are fire. And it's one of the only places near me that has them. Although it says it's likely out of stock. Shit. Okay, maybe I put that up for another day. Um. Your store has its own brand and it's lit. I am I am torn right now. What's up, Grandma? Trader Joe's or Publix? I you can't I can't get Instacarted Trader Joe's. It don't don't work. I'd have to go to a Trader Joe's, and that means I gotta leave my house. I gotta drive all the way there. You know, it's 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 it is it is a pain in the ass. Um. You can walk. You know it's like 20 miles, right? One way. I believe in you. <sighs> Fucking. I don't even know what to say to you guys sometimes. on God this app is so slow <clears throat> Just go on the highway five head oh yeah nice um Okay, we'll put it on the back burner for now. Pimento. I'll get one. I will get some. I'll put it on the back burner. And I will try it on stream. Deal? <clears throat> Deal? Deal, chat? Notters? Cook. With ingredients that can vary by region, but the most common are cheddar or processed cheese, mayonnaise, and pimento peppers. Let's roll 2d12 roughage. Two cucumber and twelve roll twice. All right, let's roll some more. Six pickle and seven avocado. All right, first That's our cucumber lot. that'll give us a nice crunch and a little relief from the spice. Next up, the avocado. Well, avocado rotated in to replace sauerkraut. I have a confession to make. I don't know how to open an avocado. I bought one on avocado one time. And all my knives apparently fucking suck. So I basically serrated this thing open. Like, I'm talking like... And the whole thing just like shredded out. So eventually I finally got it open and like the whole outside was unusable. And then I tried to get out the fucking seed... So I was like trying to like pick it out, like take my like two fingers and not touch the avocado, but just like the seed. And I couldn't get it. So eventually I took a spoon and I was trying to like pop it out with a spoon and it wouldn't come out. So I eventually just I just gave up on that half of the avocado. So then I was trying to work on the other side of the avocado, but I wanted to take it all out in one nice swoop, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. So I ended up trying to like stick a spoon like in the back of the avocado like in between the skin and the and the in the actual like fruit. And so I fucked it up and I basically ended up just like scraping it out. And it was it was awful. It was it was dog shit. It was uh I haven't gone back since. 
so I am very happy that that happened. Yeah, mine didn't come out this like this. Is going to be delicious. Just... It'll bring in some creaminess and some healthy fats. Get some dill pickle added here as well. I wouldn't Was it have even put ripe? cucumber and pickle. How would I know? <laughs> How the fuck would I know? I have, I I tried to lock that memory out of my mind. I I don't have a fucking clue. Was it like a rock? Yes. I, dude, listen. I, there's one thing I've realized as an adult. I need to get is a nice knife set. I still have the. Okay, listen. All right, real talk. When I moved out of my house back in like, God, when did I move out officially? It was like somewhere around like 2016. It was like a sophomore in college. I was like 19, 20. Um, that was when I moved out. My mom now lives with her now husband. But basically, we went our separate ways. Guys, you're looking at the man that tried to bake a cake from the box. It says a lot, kek dog. Shut up. And uh, basically, I, I had like a bunch of like college silverware. You know, like the stuff you buy at like Target or whatever. Then my mom was like, oh, just take the stuff from the house because I'm not going to use it anymore. So the stuff that I had from the house, she had gotten before when my parents were married more than 10 years prior at the time. So a lot of this shit is like 15 or to, or 18 or 20 years old or more at this point. There's the knife set that I have, like, you know, those like, like, you know, those like uh, those cubes, like the it's like a knife stand, you know, and it's like the top row has like the big knife then like a couple of like smaller ones. And then like, you know, like down below there's smaller, smaller ones. That thing I've literally, I have remembered that since I was a baby. Like that is, that is, that is something that a knife block. Yeah. I've remembered that since I was a little kid. Um, and so, yeah, I've had the same set since then. So I, I think that I just need some new knives, but I don't know what to get. I don't know where to buy. I, I'm I'm just like, dude, these knives technically still work, you know? So, um, motherfucker tried to cut an avocado with a knife older than me. <laughs> okay, I'm watching the rest of this. On the same I'm not talking to you guys no more. I'm not, I'm not telling you guys shit. All right, next up, wild magic. Eight, extra cheese. All right, let's roll up another Ooh. cheese. One, vegan cheddar. Ew. All right, these sandwiches always have to be a little weird, huh? So here's some vegan cheese to go with all of our other stuff. Ew. All right, you D20s, now you listen up. You better roll good or I'm going to feed all you to my, my sandwich. Is older than me. I am not D20 joking. sauce roll. 12, guacamole salsa. Well, fate was kind, and also apparently fate thought we didn't have enough avocado exactly. on this, so here we go. This stuff is creamy and has a nice kick, even the mild version. I think this will all play pretty well together. I can tell already that this is going to be a messy one. Let's get it assembled. I really want to try that cheese spread now. It looks good. And let's get it cut. And here's the cross section. Looks good. Like that sandwich would take right. me a minute I'm to cut. I'm thinking this one is going to be good. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, this is great. We've got spicy salsa, spicy chicken, spicy pimento cheese, counterbalanced nicely by the cucumber and the avocado. This is a winner. Man, I would make this one again for sure. I'm gonna go with a 9.2. This was a beautiful, if Good. messy sandwich. Oh, hey, one more thing. I need your help. I need a name for my new dice jail. This sandwich mimic was made for me by Tori over at Victory Terrain. And I want all of you to help me name it. Drop your best name suggestion in the comments and I'll pick a winner in a few days and send you some free stickers and stuff. That's sick. Um, the cheese spread is a little chunky. What does that mean by a little chunky? Like, what do you, what do you mean? My only person who wishes sandwiches never became a thing. Bread falls short of rice and noodles by a long shot. Wait, what do you mean? Like, uh, hmm. Do you mean like, okay, I gotta I got think about this. Are you talking about like, just like in the, in a bowl type of stuff because like it's i feel like sandwiches were like supposed to be more of like the handheld devices you know what i mean it was like a, it was like a handheld uh good afternoon D, &D tiktok you know, and beyond and welcome innovation. to roll for sandwich the series where i let fate decide my lunch let's go first up roll for bread you can hold rice You can't, but 
can you can you have a like a a rice boat that like is a handheld that you fill st it with stuff? You know? No? Is it like two potato? Some of you doubted my flaming hands technique yesterday, so today I'm gonna do it on camera for you. Here you go. There, nice and toasty. Next oh, up, nice. roll for Maine. You ever had onigiri? No. Five, ham. I love a good ham sandwich. I think this is actually the first time I've gotten ham by itself, so we'll see how this goes. Roll for cheese. One, vegan cheddar. Oh. I got called out yesterday for only using one slice of vegan cheddar when I usually use more than one slice of other cheeses, so here you go. Two slices Ooh. of vegan cheddar on oh, my ham no. sandwich. Oh no, just pretend you didn't see the comment, man. plant growth using a second level slot. One lettuce and 11 green pepper for roughage. At home, we're having tacos tonight, so this lettuce is already prepped for tacos, which is why it's shredded up so much, but it'll work just fine. As far as bell peppers go, green is probably my favorite. I'm okay with the little bit of bitterness that it adds, and better yet, it's gonna bring that crunch. All right, time okay. to roll some wild magic. Nine, Rally's Fry Seasoning. This is a blend is I got that? from a viewer that includes sea salt, garlic, and herbs. Oh shoot, I forgot. You're supposed to bounce it off your elbow for maximum flavor. There we go, that's better. All right, it's time for the D20 sauce roll. Nameless is Mac that? is standing by. 10, red wine vinegar. Well, so far the Mimic is rolling high for intimidation. That's two days in a row of pretty fitting sauces. All right, let's get it closed up here. And let's get it cut. It's just kind of messy. And here's the cross section. <laughs> Not my best work. Kind of messy. But All right, closing out bad. another week of sandwiches. Let's see Remember how this checkers? one tastes. Yes, but I've never had it. Okay. Yeah. This is actually pretty typical for a ham sandwich I might make. The vegan cheese is really the only outlier here, but there's enough going on with the spices and the vinegar that I don't taste it that much. It's just a nice dairy-free ham sandwich. I think I'm landing at a solid 7.2. There's nothing incredibly interesting about it, but there's nothing offensive about it either. When you play this game every weekday, sometimes that's all you can ask interesting. for. Interesting. Well, I hope you all have a great weekend. Until next time, stay safe. Interesting. What's up, everybody? Daily reminder that you... Hey, it's time for another mail. It was a tough call, but after... Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Wolf or Sandwich, the series Some where I let fate so inside my them. lunch. Let's go. A viewer sent me these blue eyeball dice, so that's what I'm going with today. Let's hope they're lucky. First up, let's Those roll that cool. bread. Five, seeded rye. Rye, awesome, one of my favorites. It's frozen, so let's Wait. get it toasted up. Wait, I thought rye bread was, I thought rye bread looked more like this. You know what I mean? I, am I, it, is it just like a different type of rye bread? And there we go. Let's roll for our main. Three, hamburger. Yesterday was Memorial Day here in the US, which is a holiday that we often grill on. Wait. So He's going to put two burgers on this? Yo, Very fitting we get hamburger and use up some savage. of these leftovers. Next up, roll for cheese. Four, sharp cheddar. Okay. We have gotten Lit. sharp cheddar Lit. on this show more than any other cheese so far. Seriously, we made a graph and everything. 2D12 roughage, here we go. Sharp cheddar is delicious, so. Six and six extra pickles. Well, other than the rye bread instead of a hamburger bun, this is shaping up to be a pretty typical cheeseburger for me. Extra pickles and everything. Nothing to complain about so far, but uh, you know how this show goes. That is a lot of fucking pickles. Some of you wanted more chaos, you got more chaos. Wild Magic is now a D20 roll. May the dice gods Wait. be merciful. Six sprinkles. Luckily, this isn't going to add a whole lot of flavor other than just sweet. It's just sugar. So, here we go. All right, Earl, I'm counting on you. Roll for sauce. Three, banana ketchup. All right, Earl, here's your first snack. Well, I know from the last time we rolled banana ketchup that it's not my least favorite sauce, but it's not my favorite either. It'll be interesting to see <laughs> if the pickles there. can overpower the sweetness <laughs> of the sauce and the sprinkles. And let's get our toothpicks in here to make sure we are structurally sound. That's something I gotta do more often is put let's toothpicks get it cut in half. and things for structure. And let's take a look at that cross section. All right. Oh, it was going so well too. Okay, well, we've got a cheeseburger with some sprinkles and banana ketchup. Let's give it a taste. Okay, yep, it's a sweet cheeseburger. 
Even the extra pickles weren't enough to override that. Had the burgers been freshly grilled and not reheated, this may have been a little bit better. I mean, it's not bad, but it's drier than I would like. At you the very least, to eat it's it? colorful. I would be I tell too. you what, I'm not going to be running to put sprinkles on my burger again anytime soon. While this festive post-holiday burger mess was a bit of a miss, I'm going to give it a 5.3. I wasn't really suffering, but it wasn't enjoyable either. Thank you to the viewer who sent me this awesome shirt and for everyone else for tuning in. Have a good day. Save Seagull. His randos are rough. I did, I, I already told Emong I was going to play with him today when he gets on Apex so I can climb him so we can play with, uh, with Seagull. So Seagull might have to take one day of, of suffrage. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go! In honor of the sprinkle burger from yesterday, I'll be Ooh. using these burger dice that were sent to me by a Those viewer. are nice! First up, roll for bread. Three, pretzel bun. This is my last pretzel bun, and I am excited about it. I love these. Starting off strong. Next you know up, what? I gotta try a pretzel bun. I've never had a pretzel bun. I need to try one. You know what? You know what? Put that on the list, chap. I'm putting it on the list. Put it on the list. Roll for our main course. Seven, tofurkey. Now, this will be my first experience with tofurkey. Mm. I've had regular ooh, tofu plenty ooh, of times. But ooh, ooh, nah, nah. Why does that look like Play-Doh? Never tofu that was trying to simulate lunch meat. After tasting it, I would say it's salty and a little smoky. Next up, roll for cheese. Oh, no. Three, provolone. All right, smoked provolone. That should fit in nicely with the tofurkey that's got a little bit of smoky flavor going on, too. All right, 2d12 roughage. Four, pickled beets and two, cucumber. I like pickled beets. They've got a beautiful color, a nice texture, and a little tiny bit of sweetness. Don't know if I've ever had them on a sandwich before though. Maybe in like a Greek wrap or something like that. And cucumber will be nice, light, and refreshing with a little bit of crunch. It's a good combination, I think. Now it's time to roll wild magic. Nineteen, fire. So this new entry to the table is a little bit experimental. It's going to depend on the sandwich what exactly fire means at the time. But this time I think it means to melt the cheese. And it's my show, so I get to decide. This is one of the few instances where I'm going to say it's okay to mess around with the order in which the sandwich was constructed, or in this case, reconstructed. Okay. I don't know. We're in new territory here, sure. and it's fun to experiment. Sure. Last but not least, here we go with the D20 sauce roll. 10, red wine vinegar. I'll combine with the beets and the cucumber. I've got a little bit of a Greek salad thing going on here, and I don't mind it at all. And the pretzel bun is nice and thick, so it shouldn't get soggy. Let's get our toothpicks in place. Those are nice ass toothpicks. And let's get a cut. And let's take a look at that cross section. You know, the more I see shit like this, I just realize I live like a fucking peasant. I am an actual peasant. All right, tofurkey and cheese with a little bit of Greek salad flavor. Let's see how it goes. All right, yeah. Not too bad. The melted cheese is a nice touch. I'm not a big fan of the texture of the tofurkey by itself, but this isn't too bad. It came together pretty nicely. Could use just a little something that I can't really put my finger on, but it's not bad. I think that this one lands squarely at a 6.9. All right, well, only two yeah, more days until it's summer tofu. vacation at our house. Hopefully that means I'll get to work on my book a little bit more. Good afternoon, that d, &D. tofu turkey shit, it looks fucking vile, dude. I'd rather have sprinkles. TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. All right, I'm going back to the strawberry lemonade dice, so let's see how they do for me today. First up, roll for bread. Six, croissant. Ooh. I don't speak French, okay? That's how I say it. Dude, I haven't had a good croissant in a while. Anyway, these are fresh, buttery, and flaky, and delicious. Those look, that looks Hopefully amazing. I don't ruin it. Next up, roll for main. Six, corned beef. So corned beef actually has nothing to do with corn. It's salt-cured beef brisket. Yeah, that's, that's a, a, that's a lot of meat of for the sandwich. We're just starting. That's a small amount of bread. called corned beef. That's a lot Next of meat up, for cheese. Five, Havarti. Nice. Havarti is another one of my favorite that, sandwich cheeses. And it's subtle creaminess will be a good That's a lot of cheese and meat so for far. a small sandwich. Next we got up, a long way to go. Here we go. Six, pickle and seven, apple. These are the last few pickles in the jar here. Oh. Uh, goes great with Havarti, so this should be a nice little addition to our sandwich. Those of you who've been watching for a while have learned that apple goes with more sandwiches than you might think. And so far, I see this being fine. It's Dude. It's going to be quite crunchy, too. Which Dude, that thing's like... I'm a fan of. That thing's not going to close. Up, wild magic. 
One extra sauce. All right, Earl, you gotta help me out here. Put the fear of Lathander into him. All right, I guess we're rolling two for sauce. 10 red wine vinegar and 12 barbecue sauce. Man, I really dodged a bullet here. I mean, bad. this works perfectly. There's already vinegar in the pickle brine and in the barbecue sauce. And the sweet barbecue sauce will go with the apples, but also barbecue and pickles. Also, sweet baby rays, really well. great choice. And remember how I sweet said baby rays is, is the brisket. choice. It's Listen, basically a bar. I didn't learn this until I was older. If you haven't had sweet baby rays as your choice of barbecue, you are missing out. Barbecue brisket croissant. This Dude, might work well. Is, that thing's Let's get what a is that? In here. Dude, it takes the whole toothpick. And let's get a cut. Why choose the thickest sandwich for the All smallest right, let's bread? Check out that cross section. Not bad. Oh my god. All right, it looks good. That is literally Honestly, comical. I don't think there's any way this could be bad, but let's give it a taste. Oh yeah, well it's definitely a crunchy one. But yeah, like I said before, nah, no way. It's sweet barbecue vinegar. It's it's very much you know very much barbecue brisket. I think it's missing a little bit of the fattiness of like a regular brisket, whereas a lot of that moisture is Mind missing chicken due to the fact in the that the corned beef has been salt cured. All in all, it's all right. good. Easy 9.5. I could see this easily being a 10 out of 10 for someone else, but I'm not a huge fan of barbecue sauce. But in this case, it definitely Try works. Try Stubbs barbecue day, sauce? Stubbs, Stubbs, Stubbs. Stubbs. I feel like I've had that before. Or I've heard of it before. Hold on. Stubbs? Nope, that has that's. I'm on fire! Oh, I have seen have this you before. Tried rank arenas in Apex Legends. Very fun with a pre-made team and more Overwatch esque. Uh, I haven't for a very long time, uh, but I would be down to at some point. Stubbs, what makes this one so good, RJ? Sweet heat. Oh wait, sweet heat barbecue sauce. Oh hey, yeah. I do. Give me some of that. If that tastes anything like Popeye's sweet heat, oh baby, that is that is a new staple food if it is. I'll, I'll grab a bottle of stubs. I'll try it. I'll try it. Listen, dude, if Popeye's if Popeye's sold their sweet heat sauce in the bottle. I I would own months of supply. Months. Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. In honor of today being the start of summer vacation in our house, I'm using these beach dice that were sent to me by a viewer. First up, let's That's roll good. for bread. Six, croissant for the second day in a row. Those with weak stomachs may want to look away for this next part. Gotta get this croissant opened up and ready to be a sandwich. It's dangerous work, but somebody's gotta do it. Next up, roll for Maine. Three, hamburger. Well, I'm glad to be using up the last of the leftovers for Memorial Day, but I'm not that excited to eat them in that hey, it's been a few days and they're most likely very this dry. Is... Let's roll for cheese. Four, sharp cheddar again. I'm often accused of putting a lot of cheese, but today I'm going to be putting even more cheese than I normally do because I only have two slices left here and I want to use this That's up the way because to do it, I'm though. getting sick of sharp cheddar. 2D12 roughage coming at ya. Five tomato and eleven none. Okay, so far this is just this a is cheeseburger very good. on Wait, a croissant. What? I like tomato on my burgers. Nothing weird here. I have to wonder if I'm saving up all of this karma for something truly heinous. Let's roll wild magic. Now that's not easy to read, is it? Here, that's a crit fail on wild magic. Extra sauce. All right, well I guess we're rolling twice for sauce. Oh, here it we could be go. really good though. It's a good looking sandwich so far. 13 honey mustard fry sauce and 18 beanos. This honey beanos. mustard fry sauce basically tastes like a mixture of ketchup and mustard to me, so What's beanos? I'm not super excited about that. But the beanos is a sub dressing, basically oil and vinegar and spices, so that should be good. All right, let's get it put together here and get our toothpicks in. I hope I like that. And let's bisect our sandwich. <laughs> let's take got, a look at that cross section. You definitely got like a warning from right. TikTok about using knives well, or something. Here we go. Basically a burger with some oil and vinegar on it on a croissant. Let's give it a try. Oh boy. Yeah. Even with double sauce and tomato, it's somehow both soggy and dry at the same time. That honey mustard fry sauce is just 
really just ketchup and yellow mustard, which is the worst mustard in my opinion. And Wait. the honey flavor just makes it even sweeter. Wait, all in all, this good, is just a really mediocre burger. Wait, I like ketchup 9. though and, and yellow mustard. Can't I don't be sad, though, together, but... it's summer now. What's your favorite summertime activity? Let me know in the comments. And have a good one. Good afternoon, D&D &D TikTok. I don't know. That actually and... looked like a good one. Wait, that was the last one. Fuck. Fuck, we're caught up. Uh, we won Comrade. They just won for three months, but I appreciate it. Fuck, we actually ran out of content. No shots, dude. Ah, oh, man. I'm actually kind of sad. No way. Oh, my God. We ran out of content. Ah. <sighs>